prom. I mean, you never mentioned prom. She's like, every high schooler goes to prom, Andre. It's not like it, this is brand new thing. Well, I mean, who are you going with? A, gu- a guy? And she's all like, honestly, Andre, it's kind of not really your business. It's not like you're my boyfriend. If I was your boyfriend, would that make a difference? And she's like, I don't know. You're the one who said you didn't really want to date me. So I guess we'll never know. And he's like, well, I mean, maybe we will. Why don't you try asking me to get if I'll be your boyfriend. Hi everyone, it's Ketchy, aka OVGEM. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. So we're back with another episode of Not So Berry. And yes, we are looking at Sienna's bed. And as you can probably already tell, there is more than one person in Sienna's bed. So to rewind the clock back just a little bit, I did play a tiny bit off screen. I was trying to progress some relationships, mainly the one between a one Andre Rios and a Sienna Everberry. So from last episode, you'll remember that Andre pretty much pumped the brakes on any type of relationship between him and Sienna. He just felt like it wasn't a good idea because, you know, Sienna's still in high school and it's just, you know, it's not a good look. <laughs> but despite all of that, Sienna's been persistent. She's been hanging out with Andre a whole lot after their internship and things have continued to heat up. They've been hanging out a lot, enough even that she convinced him to come out and hang with her in Evergreen Harbor versus them hanging out together in the city in San Myshuno. They had a bit of a love and basketball moment at the mall. They were playing together. Things got a little bit flirty, but they were out there pretty late. So when it came time for them to call a night, Andre was like, you know, I really should be heading back because it's getting late and, you know, it, I, I really need to get some rest. And Sienna's like, well, I mean, you're already here and I can tell you're dead tired. Why don't you just spend the night? You know, my bed's big enough for two. And, you know, against his better judgment, he's like, you know what, sure. Why not? I could spend the night. I like hanging out with you. So they actually spend the night together and they are both in this bed together sleeping. Now, keep your minds out of the gutter because nothing, <laughs> nothing, uh, uh woohoo related happened between them they literally did just sleep but they um slept in together um sienna's grades are pretty much good she will be graduating really soon so judging from how much time she's got on the clock sienna will be a young adult in four days and she already has an a a plus in school so i just had her take the day off today because it's not like it's not like her performance is going to really suffer to break her A performance anyway at this point. Plus, it's a Friday. Why not start your weekend early? Not to mention, she's been busy with her internship and making sure things are all good to go for the prom. And she's like, you know what? I've been working around the clock to make sure that the last day of my high school experience is amazing for prom. I deserve to have Friday off. So she called out for school, prom's tomorrow, and she's sleeping with Andre. So I'm actually going to get them up a couple minutes. They did both sleep in, so they're probably going to head back into the, the city and get some breakfast together, and we will catch them there. So Sienna and Andre came back in the city so they can get a little bit of brunch. They're both starving and Andre has just been telling Sienna how much he's been enjoying his time with her. He's like, you know, Sienna, like, it's been really cool hanging out with you these past couple days. I know I said before that, you know, I'm not really into dating you because you're so much younger and you're still in high school, but I don't know, like, I feel like maybe my mind has been changed just a bit. And she's like, well, you know, that's me always changing people's minds. I told you that, you know, a relationship between you and I could be a good idea, you know. I might be still in high school, but honestly, like, this is like my last week. I'll be graduating. So I think maybe we should really start talking about us, you know, being in a real relationship together. Nandra's like, so you're real, Sienna. I mean, I'm still not sure about the whole idea of us dating. I'm not really the type of dude who likes to be strapped down to one girl. You know, you're really cute and I like hanging out with you. Let's just keep seeing where these things go. And she's like, well, you know, if you keep waiting on me like this, Andre, you're going to miss out. Like, I'm a 
great catch. I'm not going to be single forever. So Andre says, well, I mean, what's your plans for tomorrow? Because, hey, I might be interested in working on maybe us possibly being more than friends. And Sienna's like, well, I mean, I have prom tomorrow. So, I mean, I don't know how much time I'll have to spend with you tomorrow. He's like, prom? You mean, you never mentioned prom. She's like, every high schooler goes to prom, Andre. It's not like it, this is brand new thing. He's like, I know you just never mentioned it. And she's like, well, I mean, I've been busy planning it. I just really haven't mentioned going to it and she's like he's like well i mean who are you going with she's like well i'm going with a friend of mine he's like is it a guy and she's all like honestly andre it's kind of not really your business it's not like you're my boyfriend so andre says well i mean if i was your boyfriend would that make a difference and she's like i don't know you're the one who said you didn't really want to date me so i guess we'll never know and he's like well i mean maybe we will why don't you try asking me again if i'll be your boyfriend and she's like are you serious and he's like well i mean i, I didn't stutter did i yeah dad i saw i saw i saw that was great <laughs> So Zena's kind of a little blown away by Andre actually asking her to just ask him again to date her. She's like, this sounds like something I pulled on Julian not that long ago, but I don't like being on the other side of this. I like to be the one in control. So she's like, you know what, Andre, like, let's table this because I honestly don't even know if you're serious about this right now. Why don't we just revisit this whole topic after the internship today? Because I kind of just want to focus on eating and, you know, making sure I am in good shape before our internship because it's starting up soon. And he's like, OK, but, you know, just, you know, think about it. All right. And she's like, oh, I'm thinking about it. Don't you worry. So it is after work, after the internship, and the two of them decide to go back to Andre's place and just settle up in the hot tub, although they're getting out. Just ignore that. <laughs> anyway, she's all like, thank you for breakfast earlier today, Andre. It was so good. He's like, well, it was good to be with you. And congrats, because she did get a promotion today with her internship. She's now at the top of that teen career there is no other the place for it but she's all like i just really appreciate you being in my corner andre without you i don't know if i would have been able to get to the top of uh, you know this internship and i just am feeling really great today and he's like you know so am i but i really would like to you know circle back to what we were talking about at brunch earlier about you know us being more than friends and she's like i mean if you're serious about it maybe you should do something about it and he's like well like i said why don't you try asking me again if i would be your boyfriend and even though Tina's not really jazzed about being on the other end of a game she already played on Julian. She's like, whatever. Again, like, Andre's an older guy. Maybe they are all like this where they don't like to seem like they're too obvious about wanting to be with someone. So, sure, I'll go ahead and ask Andre if he'll be my boyfriend. So she's like, so you want you want to do this? And of course, Andre says yes. So now they are officially girlfriend, boyfriend. So Andre's all like, last time I checked, um, when we were at the club together and I was really feeling you, you said something about how you didn't want to sleep with me if we weren't officially together. We're officially together now and I'm feeling it and I think that you're feeling it. So, you know, you could spend the night and we could, you know, do something to really solidify a relationship. And Cena has been hot for Andre for a while now. So it's like, it's not like she really had to be convinced. And she's all like, well, I mean, it would be nice to end my high school career by, you know, having a special moment with my boyfriend namely losing her v card to her boyfriend she's like this is like the best way to end my my high school career i'm at the top of my internship i have an a i'm you know pretty much a done deal she hasn't got her substance level or college yet but she's expecting to get that any day soon she applied to all her scholarships she's ready to go she's all like i'm probably gonna get into my the school i really wanted to get into i'm probably gonna get all the scholarships i want i have prom tomorrow everything's just going my way so she's like sure let us go ahead and and head back to your room and get this party started. <laughs> so they are going to be doing the deed and Cena's beyond excited. She's all like, I'm about to lose my V card to the like the most handsomest guy there ever was and I'm just excited for this. <laughs> Pictures with my body There's just something about me When I get around you I move so different when you're 
you're watching There's just something about me When I get around I save my lips for kissing Baby, come and listen to the language in my vibe I don't need words to show you I wanna get to know you There's a message for you to have done the deed and as you guys can tell they both really enjoyed themselves this keeps happening i don't know why the kiss interaction just like never saying but he's all like so you know you can go ahead and spend the night so sam's like andre that was amazing i never anticipated that my first time would be that great he's like well you know i've been told i'm quite the amazing lover and she's like well i hope i was just as amazing too and he's like well wouldn't you like to know and she's like you were such a tease anyways like it's pretty late so you know it's probably a good idea for you to spend the night here and she's like yeah of course but i am gonna probably need to get up early tomorrow so i can get ready for prom and andre's like i mean you're still going to that and she's like andre it's my senior prom i helped i helped uh, organize it like why wouldn't i go to it and he's like i mean i just thought like now that you and i are boyfriend girlfriend i just assumed that you wouldn't be going to prom especially not with somebody else and Sina's like andre you're sweet and all but like i'm not missing my senior prom i put so much work into putting it on he's like well i mean I just don't see why you would be going without me. And she's like, oh, I mean, that's such a big deal. You can come to prom with me. Like I mentioned, I'm going with my friend, but I don't see why my boyfriend can't also be at prom too. And he's like, okay, like, I guess I'll go to prom with you if that's what you want. She's like, yeah, just wear something red so that you match me, but you can come along too. And he's like, sure, I guess I'll, I'll come to your prom with you. So even though Sienna is planning on going to prom with Julian, to her, like, her date with Julian's a friend date. It's not like a real, like, romantic date. And she and Andre just got into a relationship. It's what she's wanted for, like, since, since she's met him, basically. So she's all like, I don't want to mess this thing up. He finally agreed to date me. And I, I, I don't want him to think that I'm not still into him so of course i'll invite him to prom and it'll be good to have my boyfriend at prom so that i can experience it with him as well so you know this is actually a good thing she's not really thinking about julia and how it would maybe make him feel knowing that she not only is dating somebody new but she brought him to prom too so i don't think i don't think um cena is really like thinking straight about this Last night, the two of them did the deed. Sina is no longer a virgin. Andre is her boyfriend. Everything is turning up roses for our Rose Generation Sim, as it would seem. And most importantly, today is prom. So in just a bit, I'm going to have Sina go ahead and get up and get ready. She's pretty stinky because after last night's activities, as they call them, she kind of got a little bit sweaty and dirty. So she's going to wash all that stuff off from last night and get cleaned up and ready for prom. She's going to be meeting over at her parents' house where she'll be meeting up with Julian. And then later that evening, they're going to be heading over to the prom venue. And I can't wait for you guys to see it because I think it's super cute. It's going to be super fun. And let's just get this stuff started. <laughs> so it's a little bit early in the afternoon and Santa decided to get ready and get dressed for prom. Isn't her prom dress so cute? Isn't she a vision? But she wanted to get ready early because she promised her dad she stopped by so he could see her. Blade and Nora are chaperoning so it's not like he won't see her at prom. He wants to see her before so she invited Julian over there just to like say hi to her dad before they head over and then of course Candace is coming over too because Candace is actually going to prom with Robin. Robin asked her, he's like, I know I'm not a senior but you know, I know you know you're going to the prom same as my sister and I didn't know if you had a date so would you want to go with me? I don't know where she's going, but girl, no. 
We're, we're, we're staying in your prom dress. We're not, we're not doing this. <laughs> Candace is all ready to go for prom too. And she looks super cute. So is they going to actually take a selfie? Girl, why are you not in your, get back in your prom dress? Like, I swear to goodness. Like, why are you doing this to me? Oh, this is such a pretty picture. So this is actually Julian's, I think they're twins. I, I don't actually remember. Believe they're twins though. This is Julian's sister, Madeline. She's going to prom too. I guess she stopped by because um, I think she thought Julian must have been coming to. She he said he was heading over to Sienna's, and she's like, "No, Madeline. He he met my dad's. So we're meeting there, like not my apartment." She's like, oh, "Okay," but she's like, "But while you're here, let's take a cute like pre-prom photo." And she's like, "All right, this is cute." Madeline looks so much like Tina. It's crazy, which is funny because Julian looks like Yasmin. But okay, <laughs> let's take a photo. They are so cute. I love it. Oh, and this is a cute picture too. I wish Candace was closer like um, Madeline was so that we could have a better shot, but it's okay, I guess. We'll take it. But they're so cute. She's like, let's take a pre-prom photo, Candace. You too. All right, great. Now let's head over to my dad so that we can get this prom party started. Gosh, my babies, look at them. They're all ready for prom. Look at Julian. Does he not look the absolute cutest? I don't know what face he's making here, so ignore that. But um, <laughs> everybody looks so great. And yes, we did invite Madeline over to the house. She wasn't originally supposed to come, but I mean, she showed up at the apartment. So you're like, yeah, just, you know, come back to the house with us. You know, we're all going to just, you know, say hi to my dad and then we're going to go to prom together. So it's like, okay. <laughs> But Sienna's looking at Julian. She's like, wow, Julian, you clean up really nicely now, don't you? She, oh, she's giving him a hug. He's like, I mean, so do you. You look amazing. You look beautiful. And he's all like, thank, um, she's like, thank you. You look handsome yourself. Let's go in. We'll say hi to my dad. But before that, let's, you know, let's take a picture together because my dad's going to probably want to take a picture here even though like it makes more sense for him to take pictures at prom and if i just tell him that we already took a picture then he'll lay off <laughs> oh, i don't oh, julian you have to be like crying i guess <laughs> i guess oh gosh i don't know why he he can't possibly still be upset about their breakup that can't be the reason why he's sad i don't i don't know um, let's take this picture and then we'll take a better one at prom because Julian, like, you've really ruined this for us right now. So Sienna is come in to say hello to her dad and to say, hey dad, although, great, I don't know what you're doing, you're supposed to be going to prom with us, why are you dress like this? But you guys haven't seen Glade since, um, he aged up to an elder, so this is Glade's elder, uh, makeover. Doesn't he look amazing? Let me get rid of this, like, I'm like not, <laughs> there we go. Does not Glade look amazing? Like, I don't know what it is, but it just feels like every single time Glade's gotten older and I gave him, like, his age up makeover, he's just gotten, like, oh, uh, like, I think he looks sexy. <laughs> like, before, like, when Glade was a young adult, he was cute, but I'm like, he's not hot, though. Or at least I didn't think so. I know, like, some of my friends who do Sibs content thought that, you know, Glade is very, very, like, cute. Like, Lady Sweetheart was tell me, like, oh, Glade's so cute, but honestly... I think, like, Glade's actually hot now, like, I'm sorry, like, old age looks good on Glade, like, look at him, uh, this is Glade, and he looks so good as an old man, plus, I think it was definitely a good move to start giving Glade, like, some facial hair as he got older, because, man, does he wear well, <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and let Sienna say hello to her daddy, I don't know where he's going, but, you know, hopefully he comes back, because, you know, we wanna, I know y'all are hot, we're, we're about to be at the, at the venue real soon, go ahead and, and talk to your, talk to your dad, give, give, give big daddy Glade a hug, <laughs> So Sienna's like, hi, dad. How are you? He's like, baby girl, I'm always good to see you. Look at you. You're so beautiful. This is your prom look? She's like, yeah, of course. And she's like, is it okay for me to ask who you're going to prom with? And she's like, dad, stop being dumb. You already know I'm going to prom with Julian. And he's all like, oh, is that so? She's like, you already knew this, dad. Stop acting like you didn't know. And he's like, I just like hearing the sound of you going to prom with Julian.
So he's like, yeah, 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 dad, you know, it's a friend day. Julie and I are just friends. We're, we're still just friends. He's like, okay, but you know, anything can happen on prom night. So be open to it. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's like, where is Julian? And he, she's like, well, he's downstairs. He just wanted to come in and say hi for a bit. He's like, no, not just say hi. Pictures. And she's like, dad, no, no pictures. Like, you're not dressed for prom anyway right now. Like, you're supposed to be chaperoning. Go get dressed. Meet us at prom. You could take pictures of us at prom. He's like, okay, baby girl. I'll see you at prom. I'll hold you to that. And I I want to speak to Julian and make sure that he's treating you well tonight and that you guys have a good time. She's like, of course, Dad. Like, Julian wouldn't, like, think about treating me wrong on, on prom. I've worked so hard to put this event together. It's going to be great, and I'm going to have lots of fun. I don't know what's going on with her eyes. Ignore that. But <laughs> she's like, it's going to be super fun. I'll meet you at prom. So we're going to go ahead and just head over to the venue so you guys can see it. So we are going to end today's episode on this still shot of Big Zaddy Clade here. <laughs> um, this is actually supposed to end. This episode was supposed to end at the end of Santa having her night with Andre, but the episode ran short. So I actually split part of the prom episode off onto this episode. So you guys got a little bit extra, but stay tuned for the rest of prom next episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. What are you thinking about the fact that Sienna gave up the goods to, to Andre and what do you think is going to go down during prom? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay dazzled. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Never be cool with the cool kids, but look who's left.